Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Rachel here and I've got another 12 by 12 layout. And guess what? It's another uh, layout for the Paper Issues Challenge. Is, and this one is also from the Scrap Lift Sunday. I'm such a criminal. <laughs> so I'm just cutting off some strips of paper from my stash. Um, I'm just going with very colourful ones like pinks and minty colours and black and white colours because I'm going to go for a whimsical girly feel to it and yes so the layout that I'm scrap lifting from has got the scrapbook and paper down each side with a photo at the bottom with a title just under it with a few embellishments over the top so that's basically what I'm gonna do I'm scrap lifting it all if I had the same <laughs> if I had the same um, papers as the lady who I'm scrap lifting from I would have used the same because it's absolutely gorgeous layout and mine didn't even compare to it because his was just gorgeous so I'm going to go ahead and stick these down so I can get on and embellish. And I really, really wished that I had a sewing machine because these would have looked really good with stitching, like messily up and down these papers. <clears throat> but in the end, you'll see that um, I just ruffled up the edges just to give it a little bit more dimension and texture. Um because it was feeling just a little bit too flat for us so yeah these uh, papers are from various different collections that one there is actually a Christmas paper that I got in the hip kit club I think um, but I just use like the pink side of it I think on the other side it's got like snowflakes on but this side that side didn't look too Christmassy, so I used it because I like the colours in it. And I didn't want to go totally symmetrical with um, the pattern paper on each side. I wanted them to be a little bit different. Um, so, because I was going to do them symmetrical, but when I did that, it looked too like uniform, and I didn't want that. So, like I say, I wanted to have like a whimsical feel. So I'm just scrapbooking a picture of me and my two sisters, which is a very rare photograph because we hardly get any of all three of us together. I'm the youngest of their three. And yeah, my sisters are awesome. They're my big sisters and they look after us all the time. They always have and I'm sure they always will. <laughs> I am their baby sister. So... Um, these clouds, I actually die cut them a while ago using pink um, felt and some foam glitter um, sheets. So, and they've been sitting in my stash just waiting for a project to go on and I finally found them one. And I'm going to use the... Um, the title um, from the uh, Create Paper Cute Girl Collection. Um, I've had these stickers obviously for ages and uh, I've just been waiting for a, a layout to put them on and I knew I was going to um, pair that title with that picture when I first seen the collection, the Cray Paper collection, I just hadn't got round to doing it. So I'm glad that I eventually got round to doing it. And yeah, so I'm just messing around with the embellishments right now. And I'm just going to um, punch out some tabs to go along that line. I thought the the scrapbook and paper on each side of the layout 
would give us like a like a base to put embellishments around but when I was putting the embellishments on they still just looked like they were kind of floating or just not in, not meant to be there so they didn't really get much embellishments I think I did at the end put some um, put some enamel dots around them and on them after I ruffled them up but yeah just putting the tab on there and then putting a tab on that piece as well and then I just lay them down I fiddled with it so much because I wanted it to be um it looked like it had been just chucked down <laughs> you know what I mean but it didn't so like randomly chucked down and stuck down but um I couldn't find the right placement for it. Eventually got there. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick those tag tabs down. I will call them tags for some reason. So I'm just going to go and put them down. Just because I like to place things down for a little bit just till I get a feel for them. See if they're that actually fit there nicely or not and uh, here's where I decide I want the tag behind the photograph a little bit so I just cut a little bit of the foam off from underneath that I just put on and then the tag fits in there nicely and I go ahead and find some twine for it before I stick it down I think that's where I'm off now, yeah. <laughs> I was off to go and get some twine. So. I just took that underneath the photo there. I wanted um, you, you to still be able to see, still be able to see the, the saying that was on the tag. Uh, friends so that's why it's a little bit more out I wish I'd just tucked it in a little bit more but oh. I mean it's down now the layout's finished in a wee scrapbook so <laughs> I'm not going to go ahead and change it so in fact I might when I get a sewing machine take it back out and s sew it along them papers I just love the stitching on scrapbook and layouts but um hand stitching takes too long I do do it sometimes when I'm in the mood but it just takes too long for me <laughs> I'm very impatient so I really need to get a sewing machine I have got a tiny little mini sewing machine that I thought um, I would get just to practice uh, on but nah it's a bit crap um, so I kind of just wasted my money. I might get it back out actually and have a little play with it, see if I can get the hang of it now. Because at the time I didn't really have the space when I bought it, because I didn't have my craft room then. So then I kind of just took it out of its box, tried to play with it once, couldn't do it, put it away and went in a huff. <laughs> so I'm just messing around with them flowers, puffy stickers. And I decide to leave it there, I think. I'm going to go ahead and stick the, the title down. And I do take my page over. I paused it, so I've already been over to me glue gun. And I use hot glue to stick the... The glitter board down that's in the right hand corner the bottom right hand corner and now I'm just going through these little like plastic -y stars that I got in the hip kit um, the hip kit one month I don't know which month I'm just going to go ahead and 
put them down and then I'm going to get some tiny word stickers from the <clears throat> Tim Holtz uh, tiny word sticker sheets and yeah and then I get one from the <clears throat> take me away no I don't I thought I did I know I think that's why because of a cream the the words were cream and it just didn't look right and I think that one said love you to the stars that I just put in the clouds I thought that went well because the clouds and the stars so I'm just cutting this bit down to fit where I needed it to fit and yeah and what am I going for now some triangle enamel dots and they're not really dots are they? they're just enamel triangles <laughs> I wonder what they say on the air uh, on the packaging I haven't even looked I'm gonna have to look because I absolutely love them and I want some more so this is me just ruffling up and ripping the like I'm lifting up the paper and ripping it and creasing it just to give it a bit texture and then I'm debating whether to do that side because I put quite a few embellishments over on the bottom and then I, I just decided to do it and I ruffle, actually ruffle up the tabs as well to make it all like cohesive and to go together. Oh, I've got a sneeze. Don't sneeze. What if I do a voice over? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> so, yeah. I've run out of things to say. Enamel dots. I must be coming towards the end. And I'm going in with the ink Heidi Shine. Some gold Heidi Shine. And then some pink Heidi Shine. My gold Heidi Shine is very, very watery. Is yours? Is that just what gold Heidi Shine's like? Or is mine just like off or something? Like out of date? Can Heidi Shine go out of date? So I use some, anyway, I use some gold, I use some pink and some yellow, and I get some black ink. Oh, do I? Yeah, I do. And I just put a few splatters down. And that's me done. So, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!